Hi, I'm Rosa Sally. Sorry I had to leave early. It's just because I was clashing with another event. Uh, I'll, I made this short video. I hope uh, it's okay by you guys. Uh, I originally come from uh, Kurdistan. I came here as an asylum seeker in two th 2002 and I got my status after eight years. Uh, I graduated in Strathair Student Association with Law and Politics degree. Uh, at the moment, I'm working at Strathair College Student Association as Vice President Diversity and Advocacy. Uh, so I make sure I work for equality and diversity. Uh, I'll just tell you a bit of my campaign when I was in high school, when I was a teenager uh, on the Glasgow Girls. It's very publicly known nowadays uh, by most people because there was a musical about uh, the campaign in Citizen Theatre. And uh, basically the Glasgow Girls started when one of our friends was, uh, was taken from us and was detained in Yarrowswood detention. It's actually, it's very similar to one case at the moment, uh, Yashika, she's um, just been deported uh, today. Uh, last night she was um, taken to the flight and sent back uh, to her unsafe country. Uh, so it's, it's, uh, the campaign is very, very, um, it's still this happens to people getting deported and it's a main issue and that needs to be tackled. Basically, we fought for our friend uh, very hardly. We petitioned, we went to lots of demonstrations, we talked to media, uh, MSPs. Uh, we also spoke with the First Minister, Jack McConnell, at the time. Uh, so the, everything was raised up and the public knew about the issue. Uh, so we wanted our friend bad, very, uh, back very badly and... Um, she did came back and this was because it was we did raise the profile but was also they made a mistake with her case uh, she's a roman gypsy and so it's not safe for her to go back to kosovo and so she came back and uh, we managed to save her and we got an amnesty for those who were here for f more than five years and uh, also children should not be detained while they are studying in uh, education and so the Glasgow girls were it raised a lot of uh, the profile of deportation and people being downrated and uh, ending destitution um, detaining uh, people uh, to be detained um, so basically um, that was when I was a teenager and this um, campaign led me to more to be interested in politics and law and that's why I continue to go and graduate in uh, that degree so I, I'm, I'm a person that I'm very passionate about equality and saving people's rights and uh, I think it's that's essential for like humans to have their dignity and their rights to be protected and uh, people come over here they seek safety and asylum there's something wrong in their country as a vice president diversity and advocacy in the student association I've worked on uh, many things uh, and I had actually a problem of uh, doing too many uh, things and I had to prioritize more what I want to focus on and uh, achieving that objective. Uh, so for the year I worked on uh, gaining a scholarship for asylum seekers to have the equal access as everyone else to education and as their rights. Um, at Strathair Student Association, we've campaigned a few uh, campaigns throughout the year, such as breaking the silence surrounding sexual ha harassment and sexual violence towards women. Uh, I, I've been very supportive of creating a black and minority ethnic uh, society and um, uh, also worked on the maternity guidance for uh, wom as women students and their partners who are thinking of having a baby or uh, having one and where they can go for support and services. Uh, so these are just a few of the things that I've been working on this year and uh, I hope next year I can work on more things. 
so education, I think for me, it's it's a key tool uh, for everyone, and it's the most powerful tool that can be used to fight and to change things. And that's why I have focused on breaking these barriers for asylum seekers, and they can continue to go to higher education. When I was a um, asylum seeker, I found that education was really important, and I had to wait for a long time to go to um, university because I didn't have my status. So when I, I studied law and politics, I knew education is very important and when I had the opportunity in this role to work on breaking these barriers, so this is why I have I've started uh, working for asylum seekers to have the equal access as domestic students in here uh, to education. And uh, just in over the weekend, we just launched a motion in NUS Scotland conference uh, that uh, sh there should be an officer for asylum seekers and refugees uh, dedicated to their causes and their needs. Uh, so that was passed unanimously, which, w which I was really pleased by. So for young people, in my opinion, for young generation, I think they should be more involved politically and they should be raising their voices and to be heard and create an inclusive society and be exposed to more views and as I say, I've been campaigning on a lot on education and I think education is a key to breaking barriers, opening doors to people and finding lots of uh, new ideas and uh, finding themselves where, what they want, what they're passionate about, what they think of the world and through this they can express it. So for me, I think the referendum, it's from coming from a Kurdish background, I feel like it's it's a chance of an opportunity in a once in a lifetime maybe uh, that you have that uh, decision making that other countries been denied uh, uh, to do so. And this independence referendum is it's coming very forward and it's uh, for the Scottish people to make this decision and their decision of if they want to be independent or not. Uh, so I think it, it's for me, it's a great opportunity and uh, I'm looking forward to September. Uh, th thank you so much for listening today and uh, I'm so sorry again that I couldn't be there in the debate uh, and uh, I hope that I, um, some of my viewpoints, um, I'm glad that I shared some of my viewpoints here through the video and, uh, and I'll see you very shortly.